The next step is the message. And what um, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll start this off by sharing my, my background as a, you know, my very first job was a, uh, a, a sales rep for like a direct sales company. And basically direct salespeople are like, they're like the Kirby vacuum. They're like, like the, they're basically the, like the door to door salesman, like the, the evolution of the door to door salesman, but they're like the people who never found the internet. <laughs> and so, and it was actually before the internet was, you know, I started back in 2009 before the internet was really a thing. But the reason I say that is because my very first, you know, job, I made hundreds, if no, well, hundreds of thousands for sure, cold calls, just in a variety of different capacities, calling old people, young people, you know, rich people, poor people, um, white people, gray people, black people, blue people, like all, all in, in between. I, I literally, that was, I was a, I was a sales rep and a sales manager. And what I learned is that no matter what, right, no matter, no matter what, having some sort of script, some sort of message that is consistent is the best way to, to do, to do it, right? Especially when you're going to be doing things in mass. And so what you want to create is some sort of message, right? And this is what I've kind of done is to create templates for you that you can modify that you can adjust and essentially that you can run and that you either know is going to work or that you can systematically test to see if it's actually effective <clears throat> and so i'm going to pull up here whoops that's not the one is the 18 outreach scripts that you can use for this series says inbound prospecting it really just says sales automation right um, and it has stuff that you can use for text, email, and phone calls. We're going to focus on the email today because that's, um, you know, RoboContact is obviously email. And you can use the same things for, for the contact us forms. There's a, a, about, uh, I think, maybe 12, 13 different emails. And what, what they are is they're, they're templates. And they're like Mad Libs, right? So if you guys have, um, have ever seen, uh, you know, Mad Libs or some of you guys are familiar with funnel scripts or you know, it's that kind of same concept where you have a base here and you want to go in and plug in whatever is, is relevant to your business here. So you'll see this first one says the subject line is customer for your business. Now that sounds kind of weird, but one thing that you've got to realize is that they, businesses have, could, could not care less about what you do. The only thing that they care about is what's in it for them. And so what you really have to focus on is how you can be a, a guide, right? How you can be an assistance to what they're trying to do, right? You're excited all day about Facebook ads or website design or chatbots or automation or whatever you're excited about, right? But they're excited about patients they're excited about new members they're excited about you know sales they're excited about you know listings they're excited they're they're in their business and you're in yours and too many people especially when they're doing sales automation get caught up in oh i do facebook ads and i do web design and here's all the features about me when really all they're looking to do is to find out is to figure out a way to grow their business so that's really what these are catered to so in the parentheses, you're going to want to plug in whatever is relevant to your, to your particular, you know, uh, situation. And so let's take, let's take restaurants, for example, right? Um, let's take uh, restaurants for your, for your, for example. So when I'm thinking about customers here, right? Customers uh, for your business. So restaurants, right? They call them... And they call them customers, right? What, but I might take it a step higher, right? I might say, you know, I might say, um, no more busy nights for your restaurant, or no more uh, empty nights, or no more slow nights for your restaurant, right? I think that this bet, like a better thing to talk about, like another way of saying customers, like what is their desire, right? Like what is, what do they actually want? And most people want, you know, if it's easy for you know, them to say, 
like for a dentist, so that you would say, you know, patience for your for your uh, practice, right? Um, and what's great about uh, RoboContact is that you can use a lot of the merge tags to actually include these in in the actual, you know, in RoboContact. So when we go in here, right? Let's uh, let's take a look at our, at our good old good old RoboContact here. And I'm going to hop in here in email messages, and I'm going to hop in my restaurant group. And you'll see here, okay, so we've got this one. All right, great. So this is just a different one that we wrote. Let's, uh, let's add follow-up. So I'm going to put in here email name, and I'm going to drag this over here. And we're going to say this is no slow nights. All right, so let's go back to this one right here and take a look at this. So it says, hey, so I'll say uh, no slow nights for, and then I can actually plug in the business name right in there, okay? Now, when, when a restaurant owner, if they're having issues with slow nights, right, that's going to be something that, well, okay, that they care about, not that you care about, but they care about. So since I've got their since I've got their their info here, I can say hey, and then I can say the business name again, right? Uh, we've got and over, I would update this a little bit. We said technology because we were we were selling chatbots, but we've got a new and I'm gonna, I always like the word system because it's pretty it's pretty generic, right? We've got a system, right? But if if you have a system, that's something that's unique. It's, it's, it's somehow complex, it's, it's, it's integrated and involved, right? So I love the word system, I think it works better. Uh, that, and it says converts new uh, members every single month on autopilot, right? But remember, we've gotta adjust it to our business. So we've got a new system that uh, sends uh, more customers, that sends you customers on your slow nights every single week. And I'm gonna put week, because restaurants, you know, they're a little more urgent on autopilot. Okay. Um, if you want to see how it works, just re respond back yes to this message, and I'll send you a link, okay? Now, Super simple, and I'll put in here, and I, I have, it has my, uh, my profile in here, so it has my, my contact, right? So I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna send that two days afterwards, okay? So great, so it's that simple, right? In the sense that all I'm doing is I'm adjusting, right, these templates to actually match my niche, to actually match my offer, right? Um, you, might, you might say, well, Hector, I offer websites. Okay, cool, right? So you might say, hey, business name, um, our new websites uh, have the ability to blank, right? If you want to see how it works, just respond back. Or whatever, you're, what, however you can value profit, right? What's the actual benefit, right? We're going we're gonna to sell them a chatbot. But what's the chatbot going to do? It's actually going to send them, it's going to send them customers every single week on autopilot without them having to do anything, right? So that's, that's really how the messages uh, work. Should we do another one? That was kind of fun, no? Unless you guys didn't like it. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. We've got some other ones. Um, so I like this. Okay, so, so this is something that you can use for a follow-up. This also has follow-up in here, right? So I'll put in here, I also like the, the like repeating subject lines, right? So I'll put in here regarding, and then I'll put in just like that. Like, or excuse me, reply, like it looks like it was a reply. Um, follow up three. So then I can say, hey, business name, just touching base, make sure you saw my last couple of emails. So I'll just, once again, I'm just going to, I can't copy it. Um, and then I can put their name. Just wanna make sure that you saw my last couple of emails. We have a system that is guaranteed to bring you and then like you can put your guarantees in here a lot of people like that because it's you know 
a lot of people like guarantees. And if you're in certain niches and industries, you can offer certain, certain lead guarantees or you can offer certain guarantees. People love that. All right, for restaurants, I'm not gonna do that though. I'm gonna say we have a system that sends that contact your, uh, let's see, I'm gonna say, whoops. Where'd you go? We have a system that contact that uh, brings you repeat customers. Oh, here we go. That is guaranteed to increase the amount of repeat customers, right? Because that's what they want. Uh, and then I'm gonna use some personalization that visit, and then I'm gonna put the business name in here. Make it look a little fancy. A visit every month. We've gotten results, and over here it says in dozens of markets across the country, because this was built off of our, our real estate experience, but we've gotten results for restaurants just like you. If you're interested in getting more um, I'm just going to say, I'm going to shorten it up. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, now let's, let's put in an offer here, right? Because I think that's something that I wanted to talk about. So if you're, if you'd like a free, um, we're going to call it. repeat marketing, I don't know, I need to change, maybe we'll rethink this. If you'd like a free repeat marketing strategy call, just respond back with uh, a few times that work, and we'll discuss how to fill up your restaurant. So we're talking about them, right? Um, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that another two days after save that. Okay. So what did we just do? Right. We just went through and we wrote out a couple of emails that took us a few. <gasps> it didn't save them. Motherfuckers. It didn't save it. All right. That's okay. It's only a 10 minutes. Um, so it's that quick, right? It's that quick. So that's really the the next step here is going through and writing out your messages right for each of your your outreach campaigns 